The heads of Korea's 10 largest commercial banks have been hauled in before the nation's financial regulator. The Financial Supervisory Service wants answers for the recent series of high-profile scandals and disastrous data leaks. Now it's also demanding measures be put in place to stop anything similar happening again. Our Kim ji reports. Korea's financial watchdog has ordered commercial banks operating in the nation to draw up fundamental countermeasures to deal with corruption and the spate of data leaks that have rocked the banking sector in recent months. The Financial Supervisory Service says the presidents of the banks will be held personally responsible if they don't get a handle on the moral or data breaches. That was the message delivered during a meeting Tuesday morning with the chiefs of the country's 10 largest commercial banks present. The regulator called on the bank heads to modernize their work practices and improve employee ethics by implementing surveillance measures. They include forcing employees to take short leaves of absence so that their computers and files can be examined for any signs of mistakes or wrongdoing. The regulator also called for the rotation of employees to different posts to prevent corruption. The FSS says it will take a closer look at banks that show early signs of problems and conduct an impromptu inspection to prevent financial catastrophe. The FSS has already conducted these types of inspections on two commercial banks, the Curry Exchange and Tegu Bank, after detecting problems concerning dormant deposits. FSS Governor Choi Soyeon had earlier blamed the recent string of data leak cases on lax management, saying bank chiefs that fail to properly monitor their employees would be punished. Choi also said that the problem is not limited to just commercial banks, but also to other financial entities, from credit card and insurance companies to savings banks. Three of the nation's largest credit card firms were found to be responsible for a personal data breach in January of tens of millions of their card holders, the largest leak in the country's history. Kim Jion, Arirang News.